Hi guys, it's Sam here. Thanks for joining me on my sixth week of pregnancy. So this week I feel super pregnant. So I thought I was having pregnancy symptoms before, but no. This week morning sickness has kicked in and major, major fatigue has kicked in and I'm bloated. It's just a whole whack of hormones through my body. It's crazy. So, um, almost immediately on the first day of week six, I started experiencing a lot of nausea and it's kind of just progressed um, since then. So it's, it's not good. So as soon as I wake up, I feel sick and if I eat a little bit, I feel better. And you know, I, they should not be calling it morning sickness because I, at least for me, I felt nausea pretty much all day. Um, I do find that it does get better if I make sure that I'm eating all the time. So basically every hour I have to be eating some sort of snack. And I do find that that's kind of helped me manage um, the nausea. I have been lucky that I haven't thrown up yet. Um, and I'm hoping that I don't. But I also found that eating right before bed kind of helps with the morning sickness in the morning because I do find that the nausea is the worst in the morning. So um, I just have to eat something right before bed as well. That means like when I go to bed at like 10 o'clock, I have to eat something right before. And that does, that has helped quite a bit. I'm just helping me manage it. So yeah, I've, I guess that's what pregnancy is all about. And I read that it'll get better by the second trimester. Although some women do experience it throughout their whole pregnancy. So um, fingers crossed that that's not me. And I only have to put up with this for another few weeks. So so yeah, um, other symptom that I've been having. I said I'm very, very tired. So yeah, still taking naps every day pretty much. Um, and time I take the nap kind of fluctuates. So sometimes I take it at 12, sometimes 2, sometimes 6. So it's... Basically, I just listen to my body, just go to bed when, I'm, when I feel like I need to. Um, oh yes, the other symptom I've been having is I've been extremely bloated. I look like I'm five months pregnant, but I'm not. And I keep reading and keep Googling, oh, can you show at six weeks? And you can't, it's bloat. Um, but it's kind of crazy. I've never been this bloated before. Even in the morning when I get up, like usually you would think your stomach isn't wouldn't be that bloated but I wake up bloated and I go to bed bloated so that was me that's me um those are kind of my main symptoms along with the other symptoms that I've had since week three so the sore boobs thirst hunger not so much just because I do feel pretty sick but um, I have been able to eat whatever I want which is nice I haven't had any food aversions um, I haven't had any cravings either so I've been able to eat I kind of just eat through the nausea because once I eat I do feel a bit better so I just force myself so that's good at least I'm able to do that I know a lot of women aren't able to do that um, but yeah so let's check in on how the baby's doing this week so checking my bump app first so baby is as big as a sweet pea 6.4 millimeters which is crazy that's almost double in size from last week and what it says on the pregnancy plus app is the little one now has a two chambered heart which basically looks like a tube and twisted back onto itself the although that's too early to hear the heart starts beating the baby's spinal cord is forming neural tubes starting to close baby's shaped like a tadpole earliest signs of arms and legs can be seen as tiny little bulges on the side of their body and baby's growing a thin layer of skin to cover everything up so super cute um it's just crazy to think how small this little baby is and that um it's gonna be a human being it's like it's just weird but yeah so that's how what's going on in this week of pregnancy thank god i haven't had any sort of complications this week compared to the last two weeks there was always something that came up but 
this week, apart from all the nausea, everything's been pretty smooth sailing. And yeah, I'm just excited to kind of get to the second trimester. Start feeling better, but I'm just kind of taking it day at a time. I know everyone says that pregnancy flies by and just to enjoy every moment of it. I kind of feel like it's not really flying by for me. Um, but maybe it's just the first trimester when you're feeling really sick that things really seem to go super slow. Yeah, so that's my update for this week. Um, thanks so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please follow me along. Follow me on this journey. Um, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell button to be notified every time I post a new update. And if you are in your sixth week of pregnancy or whatever week you are, um, let me know how things are going and let me know what symptoms you had at six weeks. And I just, I always love comparing with other women and seeing kind of if, if we're having similar symptoms or, or what kind of symptoms you're having. So other than that, thanks so much you guys and I'll see you next week for my week seven update. Thanks guys. Bye.